Hello again, and welcome back. Scott and Wonders World. The world of Scott and Wonder. Still go through. It's almost Oktoberfest time. It's not quite there yet. This has been recorded on Thursday. Don't know when you're going to see it. Probably Saturday. I don't know. Who cares? Who fucking cares? Um. So we've had the little box set, we've had all the, the, the fest beers, not, 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 I repeat, not all October fest beers. Very good box set. Um, the beers that I've had, I've had some of these, well, I've had all of these, <laughs> all of these. I've had uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them now. And I can say, um, I wasn't over keen on the 1543. Um, I can't remember if I've done the old, but did I, how many have I put on the channel? I've got no idea. <laughs> no idea. Five? I think I'll put five up. Um, hello, anybody there? Um, fat one, bullshit beer reviews. Fat man sits in the shed talking about the beer he's currently drinking. Type video. Obviously, with um Oktoberfest celebrating some prince or something, and the pondering man will put me right. I've done as, as normal, absolutely zero preparation, research, or any type of that shit. As was evident by my absolute howler saying that Erdinger is part of this one of the six Oktoberfest breweries. Anybody with half a brain knows that it's Lewenbrau, Spatten, Hofbrau, Augustina, Hackerspor, and Paulana. You're welcome. Finally got it right. So thank you to everybody that corrected me. I did make a little note at the front of the, um, the Erdinger, which you should see before this, I think. Um, so yeah, obviously the big six. There are there apparently this can can call itself an October Fest beer. Fucked if I know why or how or anything like that. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments. So you had the little box set which was universally very well received. Just gonna check the push the button because I can't remember <laughs> saying a waffle to myself. Yeah. Well technically I'm doing anyway, but you know, you know what I mean. So, and then this week, last couple of days, on Thursday, uh, Aldi replied, uh, the two German breweries, breweries, supermarkets have upped their game from last year. Aldi have put in fucking laughable Brewdog Oktoberfest. No thanks. Um, they've put in this one, they've put in Spatten, just the normal Spatten, which is a bit sad, really. I would like to have seen the actual Oktoberfest version. They've put in the... Erdinger Oktoberfest beer and this one now this is Paul Anders Oktoberfest beer and I'm I think I'm right in saying this sells more than any other of the Oktoberfest beers from Paul Anna. like their Hefeweiss like their Munchen Hells as well so this should be good and currently in Aldi at the moment at £1.99 a bottle this one's coming in at 6% on the ABV. There are some words. My mate Woody doesn't like words. Words on the side. They're probably going to be in German, so I'm not going to be able to read them. Brewed in accordance with the Bavarian... <laughs> Brewed in accordance with the Bavarian purity law of 1516. 16 minutes past three. Speciality beer. Ingredients are water, malted barley, hops, and I'm assuming yeast. And that's about it in the English. Paulana, so the six breweries, uh, they fall within the <coughs> the city of Munich, and that's why they can call themselves the Oktoberfest beers, I think. That's the bottle lid, if you're that interested. So, let's get it out and see what all the fuss is about. Keep it on the lids, look. Right, these are my Hoptoberfest glass from 500ml glass bottle, 500ml bottle, 50cl, whatever you want to call it, half a litre, whatever you want to call it. Give it a half vigorous pour, see if we can generate some sort of heed. Mm. 
give it a swirl. I don't know if they make any bloody difference. Right, Paul Armour. October Fest beer. What have we got in the glass? Well, <laughs> the all, certainly the, the Hofbrau, the Gillamoose, they've all been pin sharp. And when we talk about pin sharp, that is pin sharp. Clean, crisp looking, um, golden straw colour, light amount of um, carbonation rolling up the glass. Heads dissipating quicker than I thought it might actually. That might just be me, it might be the glass, I have wet the glass, it doesn't really matter. But on looks alone, that looks absolutely fantastic, doesn't it? Let's go for a sniff. It's got mo more going on than some of those other fest beers, instantly. It's, it's quite grassy, sort of... Um, Nice, again, I pick honey, uh, sweet honey up in some of these beers. I don't know if that's right, that's just for me. Bready malt. I suppose lovely. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. So I say, this is one sells more than any of the others for... for so you think it's going to be good, wouldn't you? So anyway, Prost. See what it tastes like. Looks fabulous, smells pretty decent. Let's go for a hat trick. Oh, you can see why. Oh, you can see why, can't you? And that's a beer to sit and savour. Um, all of these Oktoberfest beers, the Oktoberfest beers I've had, well, two of them, proper ones. Proper ones, you know, not the Erdinger, it's not proper. Some fucking idiot said it was. Um, <coughs> I find that the 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 aromas are quite, excuse me, quite subdued. But the, the flavours these beer beers actually knock out are absolutely wonderful. They really, really are. Um, that one. Again, okay, tremendous, tremendous mouthfeel. Um, let show you, uh, these beers, it shows you, I'm not a massive lager drinker, pills the drinker, um, or anything like that. And it shows you what the shit we have to put up with in this country, really, beer-wise and lager-wise, when these beers, I mean, what's that, one ninety nine a bottle? Oh, it's fabulous, it's fabulous. There's a, like a sweet... Um, honey flavour to it, bready malts, there is some citrus notes in there, some sort of uh, lemon. Malty, bready, that sweetness that tails off, and there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end. Fabulous mouthfeel, no sign of 6% ABV, absolutely tremendous. These beers have converted me, I've never been a a massive German beer um, enthusiast, aficionado, uh, whatever you want, drinker, whatever you want to call it. Um, but these these beers established sixteen thirty four Polana. Um, these beers have converted me. They really have. I'm really very very pleased that Lidl put that box in when they did because they're beers I wouldn't have tried. It's a style that. <laughs> Apart from the voice beer, it's generally passed me by. That's fantastic. It really is. I can see why it sells by the absolute bucket load. Um, what have I tried? I've tried the Paul Arm and I've tried the Hoff Brown. Um, I think I had a, sp a spatten on the Perfect Draft last year. I think Dave bought me a keg. Um, so, yeah, um, terrific. Terrific, terrific, terrific. Get yourself off to Ad Aldi now. There, Paul Arm Octo Oktoberfest beer. One ninety nine a bottle. I think it's gone up a little bit from last year. At that price, it's still an absolute steal. Absolute steal. So, um, if you like a well-made, incredible mouthfeel, flavoursome German beer, Oktoberfest style, then that is that and Hofbrau, the two I've had, have been absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, get yourself off to Aldi. If you've had the Paul Arner Oktoberfest beer, then let me know in the comments what you think of it. Um, if you haven't, 
you know we got to go. Uh, yeah, double massive double thumbs up for me. I think it's absolutely tremendous. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down, there's a subscribe button somewhere. Me, want to see you soon. Have a great evening. Thank <laughs> you.